All right, so here we have a 2000 Chevy Silverado with the 5.3. Uh, we are looking in the wheel well. This is the passenger side exhaust manifold. Uh, and we have a broken uh, exhaust stud. So what we're going to do today is, um, okay, the, the uh, correct repair for this job would be to drill uh, that bolt out, uh, you know, tap the, the thread, clean it all up, and reinstall the new bolt. Um, sometimes that gets pretty costly, meaning the cylinder head has to come off. This one is very tight back here. Um, so what we have today is we have a part that we got from Auto Parts Direct to you uh, that is going to use uh, this bolt and this rear bolt as a clamp uh, to press in this back corner here. Uh, so what we're going to do to get started is uh, we're going to remove, so this is the dipstick tube uh, and it is directly in our path of this bolt here. We're going to remove this bolt and see if we can rotate uh, this. It is kind of curved. Um, if we need to, we'll, re we'll remove it, but we just need to get enough room so we can get our bolt in right there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll fit up our clamp uh, and we'll get started. All right, so we're going to remove this bolt uh, for our bracket uh, to our dipstick. Looks like we probably got enough room to wiggle this around uh, to fit our bolt in. We're going to try without removing it because sometimes that's pretty hard to actually pull out. All right, so here we have our bracket. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place this bracket goes behind. All right. All right. So we're gonna try. We're gonna put the back bolt in first. That may be the our hardest bolt. All right. So it can't. It comes with three bolts, and they're all the same length. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we want to tighten up our, our, our clamp bolts. All right, so now we want to uh, reinstall our oil dipstick mounting bracket uh, bolt. So now we also had a supplied uh, third bolt with the bracket. Uh, so there is one more bolt hole that is threaded. Uh, it's right next to this hole here. This hole here would be uh, for the coolant temperature sensor uh, if it was here. This bracket also fits uh, the left front. Uh, and then we also ha have available from Auto Parts Direct to you a bracket for the right front and the left rear. Uh, so this supplied bracket here uh, has the hole so it would accommodate the sensor and so we'll go ahead and put the bolt in as we thread this bolt in it's going to press up against the header flange uh, with the broken bolt so it's like a clamping press so we're clamped and pressing the the manifold back to the cylinder head and that will tighten up that exhaust leak the customer is complaining about. All right, so now we have clamped our exhaust leak uh, uh, back with this uh, little device here. 